The four o'clock flower, which is shown here, provides uh, actually a great example of incomplete dominance. What we're going to do is use a Punnett square to see what happens when we cross a red four o'clock flower with a white four o'clock flower. Let's take a look at that. So let's start this cross off with uh, the white flower. In the case of the white four o'clock flower, it has a genotype of C large W, C large W. We're going to cross that with a red flower and we can see the genotype for the red flower is C large case R, C large case R. You're going to see what happens when these are combined. Let's look at this. Okay, we'll put them in a Punnett square. We'll put the white flowers uh, gametes up on the top. Let's put the red flowers gametes on the side here. Once we combine these gametes, let's see what happens. So first off, we're going to get two pink flowers. CRCW, CRCW. Let's see what happens next. Well, once this Punnett square is fully filled in, we can see that all of the offspring are pink. And this is because we've combined the white with the white allele with the red allele. And when those two combine, neither are dominant. It's a form of incomplete dominance. In fact, these colors mix, and it's the same in the real world. If we mix white with red, we're going to get pink. Same thing happens here with plants. So that's our F1 generation. Our F1 generation are all pink, are all CRCW. Now let's cross the F1 generation. So let's cross some pink and see what happens. We'll set up our Punnett square as we can see here. With our Punnett square set up, fill it in. So far what we've got, we've got a red. One quarter of them appear to be red. One quarter, well no, it looks like so far half of them are pink. Let's keep this Punnett square going. Finishes off, okay, white. So we can see once we fill in this Punnett square, and this is again with the F1 generation when two pinks are crossed, you're going to get one quarter of them red. Half of them are going to be pink, and one quarter of them are going to be white. So the P generation was crossed. It gave us the F1 generation, which were all pink that F1 generation that were all pink were crossed and we got our F2 generation and you can see our ratios right here. And basically in that F2 generation the ratio was 1 to 2 to 1. For every one red there were two pink and one white. Let's see what we do next.